Survivor Series in the Montreal Screwjob, which I talked about in actually episode one of Wrestling Stuff. And that match would drastically change the face of WWE forever. Also later that year, Hunter would suffer a groin injury, which would prohibit him from wrestling over the next couple of weeks. The Royal Rumble 1998. When the when the 1998 Royal Rumble run Roll around, Sean renewed his rivalry with The Undertaker. And the time around they would be battling for the WWE Championship and not for respect, th this match would not just be a regular match. Oh no! They had to raise the, the bar a bit higher than from their classic Hell in a Cell encounter. This match would have to be a casket match. Early in the match, Sean might would be tossed over the top rope into his lower back, would hit the casket. In Sean's DVD, Heartbreak and Triumph, Sean touches on this matter much more and exclaims how severely his back was really injured. Now, WrestleMania 14. By the time of WrestleMania 14, Triple H and China started a rivalry with Owen Hart and would battle for the European title. Later that night, still having a severely injured back, Sean defended the WWE title against Stone Cold Steve Austin with Mike Tyson as a special enforcer. And Sean would lose his title to Austin on that night. And this would be the first, last time HBK, HBK would wrestle in WWE ring until SummerSlam 2002. The next night. The night after WrestleMania on Raw, Triple H in China started off the show and introduced the returning X-Pac every to everybody as the new member of D Generation X. Later that night, the New Age Outlaws regained the tag team titles from Cactus Jack and Terry Funk and aligned themselves with Triple H and X Pac and formed what was the new genre of D Generation X. His feud with the the feud with the Rock. In the 
summer of 1998, Triple, o Triple H, along with DX, would have a huge rivalry with the Nation of Domination. That rivalry would turn into a bigger feud between Triple H and the People's Champion, The Rock. At Fully Loaded 1998, Triple H and The Rock would battle for the Intercontinental Champion in a 2 out of 3 falls match. With that match being a draw, it solved nothing. Therefore, The Rock and Triple H would enter the that would enter a match that would set off both of their careers. At SummerSlam 1998, Triple H would defeat The Rock for the Intercontinental Champion in an epic ladder match. And now, the breakup. At WrestleMania, at WrestleMania 15. Triple H and China would turn their back on DX and go their own separate ways, and Triple H, with the help of China, would finally win his first WWE Championship against Mankind. Over the next two years, Triple H would win five world titles. And, yeah, so. Uh, what do you know? So that is the breakup, and now, let's fast forward a little bit. 2002 when the breakup actually why can't we be friends Triple H turns on Shawn Michaels the 2002 version in 2002 the WWE Universe were excited to see the return of HBK Shawn Michaels and Triple H reform the Generation X it was the first time that Shawn Michaels had a stable run in the company since his return from injury during HBK, H, HBK's absence, Triple H had established himself as one of the top dogs in WWE. What came next was a quick shock to the WWE fans, when Triple H, from out of nowhere, where, turned and hit Shawn Michaels with a pedigree. That pedigree helped continue a rivalry that saw the introduction of, the new, of new superstars, like Ric Flair. Randy Orton and Batista. Well, Ric Flair returned, but to the ring to form Evolution. He f he formed it with Flair, with uh, with Triple H, Ric Flair, Orton, and Batista. That's that's perfect. And when Triple H later formed Evolution with Flair and company which saw the stable reached heights similar to DX t of the mid late mid to late 90s. Shawn Michaels went on to feud with Evolution and Triple H throughout their time on Raw. When Shawn Michaels faced Triple H in an elimination chamber match at WrestleMania with Chris Benoit. That is all I've got for you today. Before you guys go, I've got some audio from Triple H's breakup with Shawn Michaels, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get in to the nostalgic audio. Okay, here is your wrestling nostalgia audio in three, two, one. Let's get it.
watching at home. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to keep that like button on the jaw. Push the button and ring that notification bell like the match has started. And I'll see you guys next time. Sawi. Okay, see you guys next time. Oh,